Hi guys, welcome back to another eventing vlog. This weekend we were at Farley Hall in the B100. It is now Monday after the event and basically I filmed an intro at Farley on Saturday when I went the day before, yeah, if you can have a treat, when I went the day before to walk the cross country course, but somehow I have managed to delete that footage and I can't find it anywhere. I thought it was on my laptop, but I can't find it. So I'm having to refilm an intro and um, bribe Leo with treats to be in the intro. So there is some horse content in this introduction. Anyway, I won't keep this very long. Um, and in a minute, you will skip back to Saturday and me arriving at Farley to walk the course the day before. Uh, I was actually competing, but anyway, I had to film an introduction because otherwise you're just gonna be going straight to fence one of the cross country. Oh, and I've also started editing it and for some reason, some of the cross country fences aren't in it, even though I did video every single fence. So apologies for that. I thought I was being so organized and had a great start to this vlog, but in the end, um, yeah, that didn't go to plan. So I will let you now watch the actual event. First combination. I want to be doing the novice next time. Hey, jiggy jigs. It's a novice. Very nice course so far. The ground is like perfect. And I wish I was doing the novice. But basically, I am not doing the novice here because this is the only place Sazi's ever been eliminated in show jumping doing the intermediate. So, don't worry about it. Well, basically. Probably not the best place because she might. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine, but basically, my aunt was like, probably not. She doesn't want me to have an issue here and blame it on Zazie's previous school. So, doing the 100 here, then 105 next weekend, and then two novices. Fence six. The novice one is that bookshelf. Book thingy. I have a video of Zazie pinging over that when you're across country school in here. Maybe I'll try and find it. They've done such a nice job. Look how nice this ground is. Another one coming now. I'm hoping though it's not gonna be this hot tomorrow because it is baking. My car said, 23 degrees on the way here, which is much hotter than I thought it was going to be. And Zazzy is black, and yeah, I won't do well in the heat, so hopefully tomorrow's going to be slightly better. I'm just getting envious of watching everyone go around today. I want to go. Quite a wide brush, although Jigsaw is very small. Now we're going to the water. Come on! I'm so hot. Good girl. Cross country is all walks. It's really, really nice. Very really excited to be out there tomorrow doing it. Compared to Tweezle Down, it's definitely slightly easier. Not as many questions, so it should be all right. So now I'm going to head to the yard and see what damage um, we hold, what, what's the word? See what damage Zazzy has got to me. Her main needs a serious pull. She's been on holiday last week in Norfolk on the beach. So I haven't really ridden her that much, so who knows how it's going to go. Got the pony. Um, I'll see if you can see what I mean about her mane. Come on, come on. It needs serious attention, doesn't it? Flies are awful. So they're so much worse here than at home. Um, <sighs> Yeah, is that how you feel about coming in? She was actually quite easy to catch today, which for her, considering she was ridden this morning, it's progress. So yeah, main needs attention. Tail will be washed and I'll pat her down. To be fair, I've got so much time. It's not even three o'clock. 
I don't know why I'm so early. Because it's so hot. I don't know if I can turn her out with this snuggy hood. I guess she'll be alright. You might be able to see her mane better. Can you see all the flies? Probably not. She's like <laughs> pulling me in to get out of these flies. You must be able to see them. Oh, the horse flies here as well are oh, horrendous. Let's get you in. And here is the after. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, maybe it needs a little bit more work, this bit up here. It's all right. Good girl. But that's definitely better than it was. Nice and short. And it's not too straight cut. I think it looks quite, quite good, Sazzy. If I say so myself, Sazzy. I think it looks all right. And I trimmed her forelock a little bit. Come here. So she is looking a bit smarter. Oh, look at that. Who's arriving? Someone's arriving. Current situation. She's looking so annoyed. No, please don't. Oh, just follow her down with a bloody uh, fucking pizzazz. This is not good. I can't film. And oh, now she's pooping. Right, can you stand still? I'm trying to soak her tail in nappy sand. She's not too impressed. The stud holes are done and I'm debating whether I can um, get away with not bathing her. But I might bath you, I don't know yet. You're not being very cooperative today, are you? Not at all. That's it, churn up the poo. Oh, right, fine. I'm just gonna let it drip out now. The water, I mean, you can't see it in there, is very pooey. So hopefully it's done its job. It's because she knows that she's going out. See, I think she looks clean enough. I'm just probably going to roll tonight anyway. It's too hot to put a rug on, I think. So what are you doing? I'm tempted to leave her. Are you wee? God, she's so, she so knows she's going out. Yep, she's having a wee. Right, I did decide to give her a quick bath in the end, although I think I got more, more soaps than she did. Hey, it's very, very difficult trying to film, hold a horse that's trying to graze, and bath a horse. You did it. So, kind of gave up, gave up on the filming front, but she's had a quick bath. And now, stand. I'm going to pat her mane down whilst it's still wet. No, I'm not going out whilst it's still wet. I'm going to finish packing the lorry, but I'm so tired, so I'm going to sign off and see you all in the morning, hopefully feeling slightly more refreshed because <laughs> compared to when I started this, I look extremely tired. I'm just going to take my clothes out so I can change in the morning and yeah, see you in the morning. Morning everybody, it is now just gone 7am on Sunday morning. Getting Zazzy in, gonna put her up. She actually has stayed pretty clean considering she was out naked. But she has she has rolled because you can't really see it. There is a mark on her wither. Uh, but yeah, time to plait her up. Plaits are all done. They actually don't look too bad. I think because I pulled her mane yesterday. The front one is not great, but great light. Satisfying from here. <laughs> they look good. Good girl. So, time to get your travel boots on. We've got 10 minutes till we need to go. So, we are on prime plan. Actually, it doesn't look too, too bad. Good girl. And she's looking reasonably clean.
I'm stretching. Come on you. Thanks, Jay. So you actually need to think about what you're doing. Good girl. Smith. Good girl. Spin around. See when we get there. Yes, good girl. You're good girl. You're not coming back off. Good girl. stay there They're all the dogs are up there um got these new spurs which who knows if they're gonna make any difference probably not but yeah i haven't worn them with her so hopefully that might actually shock her that there's something there who knows these are my times probably backwards jemima's put them up so yeah got lots of time so just getting ready now Jigsaw's asleep. At my back up, up there. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what's happening at the moment. Hey, little. No, stay there. Stay there. Ready to rock and roll. There we go. Different faces for this. Um, what happens? Oh, you need to put a sad face already by dressage. Okay. No, so let's not. But that that's my prediction. <laughs> prediction. A sad face by the dressage. <laughs> prediction. Prediction. And then, and then show immediate, you yeah, then media. Yeah. And, and then happy country. face for cross country. Hey Zazie. So let's actually just not do that yet because we No, let's know not it's do that yet. Good. It's, it's all gonna be, be smiley face. You're gonna have to change them all to a smiley face, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna have to change them all to smiley face. Yes. We're gonna have to they don't have faces right now, they just have they just have eyes. Okay. Hey guys, so here is my dressage test and yeah, I have only watched it back once because it annoys me so much, but I've got the sheet here so I'll go through it with you with the marks. She was, I mean she's always lazy, but like on levels of lazy, this is very lazy. So it was B, BE108 dressage test. For our centre line we got a 7 and that was our best mark, it's all downhill from here. And we turn left, and we got to six, lost rhythm on turn, and then at H you turn left, oh no, that was lost rhythm on turn, and then at X you do a 15 metre circle left, which we got another six with the comment lacking suppleness. As you can see, she's just not round, she's not off my leg. The whole time she's not off my leg. And then when you get back to X, you turn right and do a 15 meter circle right. Needs to be more forward. Yeah, I would agree, Judge. And that circle looks too big. Uh, we got another six. And then you carry on straight, turn right, and then in between F and A in the corner, you canter six point. Five. Polo to canter. I mean, oh, it's oh, I hate watching that. It's so bad. At E, circle right, twenty meters six, lacking suppleness. Yeah, I mean, I'm barely keeping the horse in canter, so <laughs> that's the least of my problems. And then you, oh god, I can't even watch. I'm just gonna look at the sheet. And then you canter up and trot at H, six point five for our trot. No comment. At C, medium walk, 6.5. No comment. Change the rain. Free walk, 6.5. Needs to stretch down and forward more. I was pleased with her steps, but yeah, she didn't stretch enough. And then you medium walk at K, and picking her up onto this left rein. Oh, it's just her left rein is her worst rein, and she just goes so wooden, and there's nothing you can do. And then at um, A, you have to halt for four seconds. And I was really annoyed 
we got 6.5 with it saying square but not at A. So I'm really annoyed about that because I was banking on that halt. And then trot at F. Oh, we're not there yet, sorry. 6.5. And you trot all the way down. And then between M and C you have to canter. And as you'll see, I could barely get her into canter. Go, go, go. Yep, 6. More forward. Yes, I agree. And then at E, you circle left. 6. You just, oh, I'm going to call this a tranter. Like, a cross between a trot and a canter is horrendous. So it's almost over. It's almost over, guys. Here we almost broke the canter, what it felt like when I was riding. I was like, we're nearly done. And then you trot there, down the centre line. I undershot it. I was like, ready to finish. 6.5. And then we got another 6 for our halt at X, which was really annoying with the comment quarters right. Because I normally bank on her halts, and we only got 6.5s for both of them. Oh no, we even got a 6 for that last one. So yeah, a rubbish test. And we got 37, which you'll hear me say later on. But yeah, there we go. Dressage is done. I am extremely sweaty. Jemima's changed the face. For the vlog. To, um, I said to her, change it to angry at pizzazz. Because she was really lazy, wasn't she? But yeah, we're getting... Well, she's ready for show jumping. It's sleeping. Um, I don't know if you can see that actually, but yeah. Oh well, that phase is out of the way and we survived and I've had to undo this because I'm so hot, but yeah. On to the next show jumping, which is more fun because that's the first that, doesn't she? Yeah, on to show jumping. I'm also going to do a voiceover a bit for this show jumping round because Are you videoing as well, Jeff? I don't know maybe it's more interesting for you guys to hear how what was going through my head at the time I don't know anyway I wanted to give her a nice big canter around the edge of the arena first the first fence you can't really see it um, we turn what way is that right and basically I just sat here like a lemon the motto all day was not in front of my leg which you'll see here. Oh yeah, okay, we are going. Then fence two was on a related distance, and I turned left, and it's like, no, I'm meant to turn right. And I told myself in Walmart, don't turn left. And I almost did. Here again, sat there, held and held and held. And she chipped in, just about made the one stride. And then this red and green one is actually a triple. And you can hear my aunt be like, let the front end go. Yes, let's see. And it was a little bit better from here. The planks she jumped well. This she jumped well. I think she still was a bit sticky coming to this next double. She was a bit looky. She just wasn't off my leg, basically. And I was thinking, right, only two jumps left. And I held her way too much for this one. And then the last one. Oh, it's awful. But she managed to keep the poles up. What a good girl for putting up with me.
to the yard now. Sorry for the radio silence. Um, after dressage, I hadn't really vlogged anything. Um, yeah, dressage was. Oh no, I did vlog after dressage because I was saying about how it didn't go well. And the spurs, yeah, the spurs didn't really make any difference, which was annoying. And the warm up wasn't great. They had to move the warm up area because of the rain we got last week. So there wasn't much space and it was quite boggy. There wasn't really anywhere to like move her on, which is what I like doing, having lots of space. Um, so yeah, the test wasn't great. Come on. And we got 37.3 or something, which it was a harsh marking section. There were lots of people in the 40s, so it was kind of average in the section. But it was a bit disappointing. There were two halts in the test, one at A and one at X at the end. And we got 6.5 for both. And normally I can rely on her to do a nice halt, but no. Apparently the first one wasn't at A. I haven't actually watched my test back. And the other one, her quarters were right or something. So that was annoying. I'm just getting to the gate now and Steve's is coming. So I might put her in and then carry on with this, with the debrief to let, well, you've seen how the other two phases went, but then you can have my, my opinion on them. Here's Scoobs, here's Dazzy's foal, by the way. Not really a foal anymore, are you? You're four. Pretty girly. Yeah, let's get, where is she? Get you back in, come on this way. Right, they're all happy in the background. We put Zazie's rug on because it is a bit grey. The other two are going to be ridden in a minute, so they'll be all right. Um, uh, Scoobs is happy to see her mummy. Back with her, so yeah, dressage, disappointing. Um, I would have liked a sub 35, but as I said, the section was harshly marked. There was a lot in the 40s. There was only two sub 30s, I think, so not disastrous. And then, yeah, show jumping. She warmed up well, I don't think. I think maybe there was one video of me. Are you coming back? Are you going to have a drink? Warming up over a cross, which was actually awful. But she did warm up nicely for show jumping. And then I went in and I just rode high scoops like a absolute lemon. I couldn't, thanks Scooby couldn't see a stride whatsoever no don't do that I just couldn't see a stride I don't know what was going on it was probably the worst show jumping round excuse don't bite me I have ever ridden in my life it was awful fence one she I just I just sat there and couldn't see a stride <laughs> fence one was horrendous fence two was bad fence three was bad and then after that I was like oh Millie you need to actually sort yourself out and ride because she's really helping you out here. Um, so the rest of the course looks better. It still didn't feel great, but I have watched the show jumping back and the second half looked better. And she managed to keep all the poles up, didn't she, Scoobs? She was a good girl. But I didn't come out feeling super happy because I just rode so bad. But at least we jumped clear. I'm, I'm not disappointed with her, I'm disappointed with myself because we're meant to be stepping up now. And if I ride like that, at the higher level scoops it's just not going to go well is it i can't expect her oh you want to vlog i can't expect her to keep the poles up at uh novice well it's 105 next weekend and then novice so serious work required no thank you scooby with my riding in the show jumping oh i'm getting absolutely mullered by ponies and flies yeah off you go off you go um and then on to cross country i sorted myself out woke myself up, woke Zazie up, and yeah, she jumped really well. Clear inside the time, I think we we're three seconds inside the optimum time. So really pleased to finish the day with a double clear, even though it was a bit of a haphazard show jumping round. But anyway, double clear, that's what you go for, isn't it? And we always discard the dressage. It's a fly in my hair. So I'm just waiting for the results now. We're in 11th place and there's one more person to go up. And I don't think they're going to get, unless they have a stop cross country or a lot of time, they will be, they will have beaten us and we'll be in 11th place, which is so frustrating because I would love to get in the top 10. But anyway, I'm really pleased to get another double clear, believe it or not, even though I don't sound very pleased. And the main thing is Zazie's back, happy and sound. She did clank her legs on fence 4A in the, for A in the cross country, but she's all right. So yeah, that, it was a successful morning. It went very quick. It's only half one now or something. So I'm gonna go back home and go back home and ride Harry. And that is all for Farley Hall. They're all gonna beat each other up now. 
Scoop. She doesn't want you. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next eventing vlog. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Okay, I just quickly checked the results after I finished the vlog. And we came 10th. Yay, happier now. Um, I mean, sorry for the other person, they got time. So yeah, we came 10th, so another top 10 in a BU100. So really, 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 really pleased with that. Feeling really confident to step up, even though just I was just slating my riding. I mean, still not happy with my riding, but I definitely think we've cracked it this season and we're really, really confident at this level now. So yeah, another top 10, I mean 10th, still top 10. Okay, bye.